So it's an amazing topic, cultures. Is it working again? So thank you. I should start again. <laughs> so to look at, at cultures, uh, we have some uh, ideas about uh, uh, systemic perspectives. And I developed a model some years ago for organizations. And uh, that is also uh, appropriate to look at cultures. And in this model, uh, we have two, or we have four fields uh, which we look at structures, processes, balances, and also pulsation. Uh, to, and I will show you what it is meant by uh, the single perspectives uh, in the following part. First to the system structures. The, the, the most important system structure uh, perspective is the attention. Where is the attention in a system? Where is the mental and action-oriented potency? Where are the forces directed to in, an, in, an, in a system? What are the people really dealing with? What are they thinking about? Where are the focuses of attention? For cultures, that could mean, is it an individual perspective? It is, is it a family perspective? Is it a region perspective? Is it a religion perspective? As Rosemary said, the different circles. What is the certain perspective in a in a certain culture, and their cultures are very different in this. Then we, we can look at roles. You cannot identify the star in the moment, but I come to that back in a, in, in a minute. In every system, there are different roles, as Bernd described them. And, but to, to put it to cultures, we have to look at hierarchical or hierarchic roles, to citizen roles and to consumer roles, more away from professional private differentiation more to the citizen or to the uh, community roles people have. Then we have in every system we have relations. That means for, for cultures we have, for example, uh, typical patterns of democratic solidarity as we have it in a lot of European or Northern European, Southern European countries. In other countries we have more a neoliberal style of how people relate to each other. Everyone is fixed to himself or uh, is uh, firstly looked at as an individual. In other parts of the world we have uh, still middle age or feudal uh, kinds of relationships uh, uh, as we know, let's say also in, in Arab countries too. And uh, we saw the revolutions in the last years uh, that uh, were against that. And a short uh, picture of the uh, five world, five role world model I mentioned before. Uh, I, I would like to, uh, to invite you to look at the uh, at the bottom of that to the community and cit citizen roles people have. We all have them in our certain community, in our certain uh, nation we are in. And also we have the consumer world. What are, you, are we consuming in this kind of world today? Are we vegetarian or are we driving a big car or what are we doing? How are we uh, living our kind of consumer role in the world that is also a kind of cultural, typical thing? I added the definition Bernd gave years ago, but you can read it. So the next uh, step are the system processes. In every system we have communication. For example, as when we've uh, been in Japan with the ITAA conference, we learned about the uh, two languages in Japan. There is one and there is tatame. There is one language that is used in an inner circle of people where you are more or less open and then there is a different language for official uh, 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 circumstances, official environment and that is totally different in the kind of openness and in the kind of uh, directness of... And uh, we know that from, from uh, a lot of uh, uh, cultures that there are different languages, different communications that we have to study to get in communication with this culture. Then we have patterns of problem solving in every culture. It's also a systemic aspect we took from the organizational world to identify cultures. I, I, I only mentioned the difference Kant made between culture and civilization. 
uh, which is not uh, that much uh, uh, taken in the, in the American or English world, the differentiation. Kant said civilization is more superficial and learned aspects. Culture is more the inner structure. So as maybe you know of uh, the book of uh, Huntington, The Clash of Civilizations, he more or less meant the clash of cultures in this, but that is not differentiated in a lot of uh, approaches. So I look pictured. Then we have the success in a culture. What is the success in the sense of a result of life? In some cultures there is uh, identity. In others we, we can take the, the, the new modern world identity. Yeah. How am I connected to uh, several we's I am a member of? Also, it can be a result of life to, to have a life agreeable to God, in German, Gottgefällig, or to, uh, to have a result of individual richness. Then we come to uh, another field, the system balances. So every system we can assume has a tendency to a balance or to, a, to an equilibrium. So we can look at what are certain equilibriums in a culture. Do they always look back to the past? Is there a present equilibrium in the moment? Is there a future equilibrium? Do they always look to a paradise or to somewhere else? When we were in Japan, they typically said for Japanese people always the, uh, the equilibrium or the the, the goal of life or the paradise was outside, overseas, somewhere else. Yeah? And we know also a lot of people who say uh, our, the best time of our culture was in the past. If we will be uh, as our ancestors were, we will be at, uh, at the goal of. This enables to, uh, to unite conflicting impulses, interests and goals. And also uh, from the balance tendency we have the question that we have further developments, not as Fukuyama said, the end of man in 1992 when he said all cultures are uh, emerging uh, or merging together and uh, there is an end of uh, culture now and also they are peaceful ones that is versus Huntington as he said in 1996 that there is the clash of civilizations so you Thomas did you give me the sign yeah okay then it's the last point I I'm going to mention is the uh, is the point of uh, recursivity that deals with the question of similar principles on different levels in a system. It's a, a concept taken from Stafford Beer, a British uh, organizational consultant or organizational scientist. He said, uh, cultures or organizations are better if there is a, uh, are similar principles. And I, I mentioned on, on this, it is not only uh, a descriptive question to talk about, uh, cultures, not only a folkloristic aspect, but we, we also have to, to have a, a normative position to cultures. And I, I, I mentioned the principles of human rights. When we were in TA discussion, discussing about the next conference, should it be in Russia or, or should it be not in Russia, we talked about exactly this question. Is the other democratic principles in this country, in this country, uh, particularly related to gay and lesbian people, is it okay for us? And we said, we, we had the conclusion that we don't think it is okay. So uh, we have also a normative position uh, uh, through which we can look through all these perspectives. The last uh, uh, perspective you will find on the paper, it's a uh, development of Bernian uh, boundary concept in outer and inner pulsation, but you can, can read it for yourself. And I, t I took the, the, the keep out. In some cultures you have a keep out sign. We were very uh, uh, amazed in, in, in Japan when we were there and, and uh, heard that 98% of the Japanese people are 
a living of the people living in, in Japan are Japanese people. Uh, only 2% are immigrants or from other countries. And uh, I think there is something about that there are major tasks in the world today to integrate and to bring people together. And we have to look at cultures. How are they doing on these major tasks that are formulated today? Thank you for your attention. <laughs> okay.